After years of delays, the critics have finally seen Top Gun Maverick. It's been 36 years since the original Top Gun flew into movie theaters in May 1986, and fans of the film have been waiting ever since then for a follow-up. Fortunately, that wait is nearly over, with Top Gun Maverick set to hit theaters on May 27th. The sequel will pick back up with Tom Cruise's Pete Maverick Mitchell several decades after the events of the first Top Gun. It'll follow Cruise's hotshot test pilot as he's forced to train a group of recent Top Gun graduates for a special mission. Among the group of graduates is Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of the late Nick Goose Bradshaw, Maverick's best friend from the first Top Gun. In addition to Cruz, Val Kilmer is also set to reprise his Top Gun role as Tom Iceman Kazansky in Maverick. The sequel was not, however, directed by Top Gun director Tony Scott, who passed away in 2012. Instead, Tron Legacy and Oblivion director Joseph Kaczynski was brought on to helm the long-awaited Top Gun sequel. Now, with less than a month to go until Top Gun Maverick hits theaters, the first reactions to the film are starting to emerge online. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Ahead of the film's late May theatrical release, several critics were shown an early screening of Top Gun Maverick at this year's CinemaCon in Las Vegas, Nevada. While Top Gun fans should likely expect to see more reactions to the film hit social media in the coming weeks, especially after its screening at this year's Cannes Film Festival, it looks like the initial responses to Maverick have all been overwhelmingly positive. In fact, many of the critics who were lucky enough to catch the film's CinemaCon screening are going out of their way to praise the movie's action sequences. Slash film editor Ben Pearson, for instance, tweeted that Maverick has absolutely killer aerial action, exactly the kind of thing fans will want. Critic Sharia Chala tweeted, Top Gun Maverick is a lot of fun, loaded to the brim with some jaw-dropping flight sequences. Tom Cruise is really a madman for some of this. Tons of nostalgic callbacks to the first and a few surprisingly emotional beats. See it on the biggest, loudest screen. Jermaine Lucier agreed, writing, I'm a huge Top Gun fan, but I think, even if I wasn't, I would have loved Top Gun Maverick. The action is intense and gorgeous. Collider editor Steven Weintraub tweeted, Absolutely loved Top Gun Maverick. Blown away by the cinematography and flying scenes, and of course, Tom Cruise's performance. Of course, anyone who has been paying attention to Tom Cruise's career over the past few years probably won't be surprised to hear that the action sequences in Top Gun Maverick are impressive. In recent years, the actor has continued to truly push the envelope with what can be accomplished and performed on screen, and all of the trailers for Top Gun Maverick have gone out of their way to spotlight the film's practical flight sequences. That said, it's not just the action scenes in Top Gun Maverick that seem to have landed well with critics. Your reputation precedes you. I have to admit I wasn't expecting an invitation back. In addition to the widespread praise that's being directed toward the film's action sequences, Top Gun Maverick is also receiving early acclaim for its story and performances. After leaving the official CinemaCon screening of the film, Eric Davis tweeted, I was not prepared for how emotional it was. While Jeff Snyder wrote, Top Gun Maverick is the perfect blockbuster. Not only did it feature dazzling aerial combat sequences, but I actually cried. It's that emotional. Drew Taylor went even further, writing, Top Gun Maverick is a profound cinematic experience and easily the best film of the year. Finally, according to Deadline's Pete Hammond, Top Gun Maverick features a movie star performance for the ages from Tom Cruise. The sequel, he says, was completely worth the 36-year wait. In other words, it sounds like Top Gun Maverick really is the complete package. Now, we just have to see if audiences react the same way these critics did, and we won't have to wait much longer to find out what they think about the sequel we've been waiting for for more than three decades. Have any fun yet? Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.